MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel. And this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. Unbelievable. I couldn't even believe that there was two eights in there. This guy right here is doing something special. Uh, I welcome y'all to MBE. What you about to see? Box building in a different league. In this SQL scene, believe that money ain't a thing when it comes to his kings. Now that's fact, not fiction. Call 404 694 48 to 18. Okay. Don't matter, you got 48 or 18 or anything between. He got what you need. This is my crew. This is my gang gang. These are my kings. Uncle Sam wants you. <laughs> What's up, man? This your boy MB. <laughs> this your boy MB, man. I can do that because I'm going to use that for the thumbnail. So you want to participate in this challenge. Great, great, great. But you don't want to take the time to, you believe it can happen, that you could take two eights and do 151 dB at 18 hertz. But, man, I ain't got the time to play the horn, horn learn, horn SP, or Base Pro Box 6, or all them programs that y'all use to do that. Well, there is a really available a uh, horn enclosure, they call it a quarter wave T-line horn enclosure calculator online that I'm going to sh give you the link for, show you what to type in, what it looks like now, what hyperlink to touch, and then I'm going to take you to the page and show you how you can design your own horn enclosure. We're putting in a couple of, just a couple of features, uh, TS parameters, VAS is needed, QTS, S, D, and F, S. Now, I'm going to tell you something. And a horn. You, you can Google it. You can X, A, I, this. What are the ideal parameters for a horn? QTS, number one. Always a low QTS. The closer to 0.3, the better. Uh, low F, S. Need as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, da, this, this one more, low F, S. Bass, not so much because this don't work on the same principle as a ported box. There's another one. Oh, a high BL. Strong with the BL and the X-Max are coming as well. But most horn theorists will tell you as long as you got something between 10, over 10 or 12 millimeters, you'll be fine. The high X-Max does help. That does help. Uh, the well, That's the case. That's why some of y'all think that the Z8 will excel over the B2 Audio. But the key feature for a horn is a low QTS, and that's where you will find that the BT Audio Rampage has the lowest QTS and the lowest FS. So it definitely has the ability to play, to have a, in relation to what it's moving, because the QTS is an average of the QS and the QMS, its motor strength is actually stronger for those parts than the Z8 does. So when you model it out, you will actually see if you can go into in-depth like Horn ESP. In actuality, the B2 Audio Rampage 8, and that's why I always use B2 Audio Sums and Horns, is far superior than most companies' 8s on the market today, primarily because it keeps, like on the version 2, 8, the, the, the QTS is 0.4. But anyway, let's take you over to the website, and then we'll go from there. Don't say I never gave y'all nothing. Okay, so let's go right here. This is something that all y'all can use. Dynamix, you can see it down. Let me type it all the way out so y'all can see it. I want you to see I'm finna type with Dynamax Audio. You hit enter, boom. See the screen that come up. So look at it, Dynamax Audio Live Speaker Enclosure Design. Click on that. So you click on that. Okay, now they changing the site around. But if you just scroll up, and mm, this guy he's doing a lot of things i used to contribute to this because this guy's a lot of stuff i used to use way back in the day but this is what i want to show y'all this is this is one of his most popular designs well no this is different this is a new one on axis chamber based reflex with labyrinth infraresonator <laughs> interesting but what i will say is this let's go to right here so one core, one fourth wave flare, quarter wave flare, vent T line horn based calculator. Basically a backloading horn. Uh, <clears throat> mimics a little bit of each one of the features. Let me answer this question right here for him. I wanna 
Two four eights. How about that? And you got the polls up there. Cool. Uh, you see he's having a resurgence on this site. So anyway, this is the quarter wave flare line horn base reflex enclosure. Uh, basically a back loaded horn, rear loaded horn. Using two principles. First, the length of the frequency trying to be in a tank can be calculated with this calculator. And that's the T-line aspect, kind of, sort of, because of the length. But it has a horn aspect in that it exponentially increases from the compression area like a horn to the low impedance setting, which is to the outside air. So this is his design of a back-loaded, rear-loaded horn. And it works. Uh, like I told you, the way I'm going to tell you now. Two of those uh, videos, and I'll put them in the description of this video, with the Rampage prototype and the Rampage version 3, I used, I just said, let me try this. Let me try this because I'm going to try to give y'all a simple way of getting your own horn if you don't want to take the time to learn horn, ESI, horn ESP as I have or Base Pro Box 6. This is just a ready-made calculator where you don't have to input too much information, but just the key things that's actually needed for horn enclosure. So he goes into breaking it down to you, but here's the primary part right here. He tells you here the chamber depth and what things are gonna do what. Uh, what he gives you instructions on basically how to manipulate, and this is what you're gonna want, the end results. The, 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 the cut panels, for each one of these at the bottom, we'll get down there as well. But this is what I wanna show you. Right here, this is the calculator. Now, where you are at sea level, you can change this too as well because that will change some of your performance of the horn. But if not, you can just keep leave these defaults in. All right? These are the things he's going to ask you. It was the FS of the driver, the QTS of the driver, the VAST, SD of the cone, and displacement of the driver. You would enter those figures in. You would have to calculate because most of it was coming in liters. You're going to calculate it over in two cubic feet, and then you would put that value here. Once you put all the values for a single driver, if you're using one or more, put that here, the number of drivers. Now, it comes preloaded, telling you the frequencies of this box right here. But you can easily change it. And let's see if I can change this for you and then come back later and show you all that. Hold on, I'm going to change it real quick so I won't up so much time on the video. Okay, now I took the time to, I'm going to use my, rough, my B12 Audio Rampage 8 version 2 set. I want you to look at the TS parameters here. Look at the VAS. I converted that over to cubic feet. Uh, the FS. And look at the QTS. Well, I took that information and went here to this calculator. This calculator here. I showed you how to get to. And I went here to build this back loaded horn design. I inputted that information. As you can see, number of drivers two. Each driver has an FS of 36. QT is a 0.44, VAS has been converted, SD of 32, arguably, might be 31, but I just said 32. The driver displacement, the driver displacement for each driver is 0.12. So as you can see, the tuning point of what I have modeled out, I'm doing it slowly so y'all can freeze that if you want to do it yourself. Uh, 33 for the for where the horn mouth exit. The first the first frequency of the first port is 31. 32 and 33. Now, the reason why I did that is because when you go to the instructions, they tell you how to do the port, as you can see here. So I did exactly what they told me to do, and that's how my frequency are sequential. Uh, next is the chamber depth. With eights, pretty much leave that right there. It's going to get you. Now, as you move that chamber depth, you will get the overall volume to increase and your and the horn gets bigger now i'm gonna tell you something about a horn the getting the bigger is 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 it's a bonus it is a bonus for overall dispersal of the sound uh the pressure is going to generate is going to be there regardless i mean but the bigger the horn the more air can be covered now you see i changed the parameters this list what's listed here in the beginning see this is what they list okay i changed it here and I changed the port, the front port, the rear, 
and the exit. And they also tell you when you change things, which the minimum cross-sectional area needs to be. Do not go under that. Whatever they have there, as you can see, it's in black. It's in uh, gray. So as you input information into the open field, it changes the information and that you have. It's going to tell you what you have and what's the minimum you can have. Now, as you change those things, you will see this change. Now, I have took the liberty of showing you something that works. I've already built this length for that tuning for one. But what I have done is increased the cross-section area of the mouth, where it says area port exit, to be the cross-section area port is 80, and the minimum needed is 64, so I'm greater. Now, you can make that as big as whatever dimension you want to make it, but the bigger the better for the dispersal of sound. I did this so they can fit inside behind my seat. So this design works behind my seat. As you change these numbers, different things happen. Now I'm going to give you an added bonus. This one here is 38 inches. As you can see, external width. That's here. As you put information here, it's going to change the cutout. And the cutouts uh, are equal to what the panels are labeled so you can see exactly when you cut and go which your, all the panels are labeled there. You see the colors? Well, that coincides with what you have here. Each panel is gonna tell you where to lay each panel. Now, looking at what I have done, let me show you something, boom. Now, let's go back here, bam. Now, you can, and I'm gonna do it, right now at 38 inches, at width, and let's go, 38 inches of width. We have 33, 31, and 32, with the tuning being at 33. Well, if I go right here and type in 40, watch the tuning change. Whoa, 29 went up two hertz just by adding two inches. Y'all see that? Now let's go to, boom. Let's go to 42, put it here. Whoa, 27, 20, you see? Now I'm doing this so y'all don't have to enter no information. You can just screenshot what I've done. Problem is, you're gonna have to screen, you gotta put this information in plus the information in up top, and it's gonna tell you all the cut sheets at the bottom. But these are parameters that you can use to build your own horn, I'm giving them to you. I'm gonna try, some of you say, well, I'm gonna go lower than that. Okay, let's go 44. Hit enter. Boom. See how it keeps going? 25, 26. Now, changes need to be made because the first frequency is too far from the last. So this design will work from what? 42? Boom, boom. 42? Yeah. 27, 28. Now, here's what I'm reading. You see that is sequential. 42, and it'll work at 40. See that? It'll work at 38. 31, 33. Even work at 36. Depending on how low you want to go. Now, mind you, it will play low. It will play below tuning. Don't let nobody tell you it will not. It will play significantly below tuning. All right, boom. Let's get this lined up right there. Boom, now we're at 35. Now, I'm not going to show y'all anything higher than that because I pretty much don't care. But if you input the values that you see on the screen and you input these values here, you put two drivers, and then change, I've shown y'all all the way up from 36, all the way, 36 width, all the way up to 42. And, the, and these numbers will be sequential. All you got to do is screenshot your phone. This read is 27, 28, 29. The one that I have modeled out that I'm going to show you the performance of, and I've always shown you that this calculator works with the single horns that I have built using this principle. You see, I put the links to the videos inside the description of this video. But I just gave you something so you can duplicate what is going on. And if you know how to manipulate them numbers, you can tune this box all the way down to 20 hertz and try for yourself the challenge y'all be blessed now it's real simple don't say i never gave you nothing you want to participate in this challenge you want to make it happen 
you can lengthen that. You can play with the numbers and come up with your horn design to 20, 20 hertz inside your cabin of your vehicle. And then, hey, let's make it happen. Pick whatever driver you want. Pick them two drivers. Let's see who's going to hit 151 dB at 80 hertz. I just took the complexity out of it. Completely took the complexity out of it. So you'll start worshiping these people like they're doing something that you can't do. Because like I said, and I'm going to stand by it, two Sundown Z8s did not do 151 dB at 80 hertz. It cannot be done. If you think you can do it, here's the information. If it could do it, it could be easily replicated. I just gave you all the fuel you need. Pick your drivers or drivers, and let's see. Y'all be blessed.